What's up, Star Trek fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, we got another cool one for you. Hanging out in our Star Trek section of our museum. Uh, we want to share with you another cool Star Trek figure from the, the Playmates toy line. And uh, all the way from 1998, we have a cool figure and character for you today. The Star Trek Gold Ducat. Gold Ducat figure. And let's bring this guy in a little bit here. Uh, this was a figure that when I saw him, I, you know, I was doing a ton of uh, purchases for these Playmates uh, Star Trek figures, but I did not pick this one up. And I immediately, immediately regretted it. Um, this was a figure that was that kind of stayed on my mind. I had to go back and get this guy. I was patient, though. I try to stay within my budget now, guys. <laughs> but um, this figure is from, uh, from the Star Trek Deep Space Nine series. From the Star, Star Trek franchise. Deep Space, Deep, Deep Space Nine show, and uh, just a fantastic figure. Uh, Gold Ducat was a is was and is a, a very polarizing uh, figure and character uh, from the D Deep Space Nine series. But what really was the selling point for me? was the head sculpt and this body armor. Uh, I just thought that was that was so cool. And uh, the outfit is uh, awesome too, but I just, I just, I love that body armor on him. And being an action figure uh, collector, is, there's certain things about our action figures, guys, that, you know, we like more than, than other parts of the action figure. And the weapons, accessories, clothing, you know. But uh, this body armor was done very well and uh, that you know to me that was a huge selling point so I absolutely positively had to have this figure in my Star Trek um, collection here at our museum so we uh, we made the purchase um, this figure did not cost an arm and a leg it was not very expensive uh, which is really cool because we you know we can buy so many of these guys and still stay within our our museum budget of purchases and guys as collectors we all know about those budgets um, beautiful head sculpt um, a little background on gold ducat he's played by uh, actor mark alama i'm gonna say alama um and uh he only starred this character gold ducat only starred in appeared in, I should say, uh, 35 episodes out of the 176 episodes of Deep Space Nine. But uh, he was very polarizing. Uh, bad guy, good guy, you didn't know. Um, in one episode, he was, you know, he had finally shown his true colors. He is uh, the leader of the Cardassians uh, species. The commanding officer of the Cardassians, Cardassian, Cardassians species. I want to say it just right. <laughs> and uh, they, Playmates did a fantastic job on this figure. As you can see, it's uh, it's numbered. I'm I'm hearing a lot though about these limited series, uh, serial numbers and stuff that you know they're not a big deal and you know. Um, I own a museum guy, so all of this is just added history for me anyway, because you're talking about a figure from 1998. So that's just another uh, cool conversation piece about this figure, about this toy line, the way Playmates uh, created this toy line. Um, they did a fantastic job on the likenesses of these characters. Uh, these characters look like um, they're 
lifelike uh, counterparts from the actual TV series. So this gold Ducat figure is just it's just absolutely beautiful, uh, beautifully done. Guys, if you're just joining us, please like and subscribe. Um, this is what we do. We hang out in our our museum, and uh, we just have a ton of fun. And guys, we got some uh, real quick. We got some shout outs we want to do um, today for some of our viewers and our subscribers, and we'll do that from time to time. Um, our first one up is just a Rican and his comics. Uh, check his channel out, guys. He has a fantastic channel. Um, really cool guy, cool collector, and uh, one of my favorite YouTubers. So check his channel out. Uh, another cool subscriber is Hellion2K. Um, another fantastic uh, YouTuber. And these guys constantly visit the, our museum. Um, they comment, um, share their thoughts. So it's really cool. Keith Smith is another one. Another cool subscriber. And very knowledgeable in Star Trek. Very knowledgeable. So he really helps us a lot with explaining certain things about our Star Trek figures and the characters and the TV shows. And all the little ins and outs and nuances of, of uh, Star Trek. So just another. So we would like to thank those three guys all that they do and here you can see in the back background he's got his base and some uh, 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 paperwork there manual playmates manual there all encased in plastic uh, this is practically a C10 museum example that we have here in our museum beautifully done up here in the top we'll put him back up here at the top I want you to see He's got more weapons up here at the top. Phasers, communicators, you name it. Another rifle here. Um, beautifully done. Fantastic. Guys, what do you think of our Star Trek Playmates Gold Duke Cat figure? Uh, do you have this? Figure. Are you are you looking for this figure? Are you trying to uh, add some of these uh, these uh, Playmate Star Trek figures to your um, collection? Not hard to find. Uh, eBay. I would say if you have a, uh, a toy exchange in your where you live at in your state or country, wherever you live at, where you're from, uh, definitely check them out. They're all over the place, and uh, I'm I'm just getting hooked on these guys. And I can't stop buying them. So, and then the price, this, the price that I paid for this was $10. So, you can't beat that. I saw the same figure on eBay for like $15, $20. And that was not including shipping and handling. So, that's where they get you at. I mean, you have to, the, the shipping and handling. So, if I can buy this figure for $10 outright and walk out the door with them for just for $10 without shipping and handling... Um, that's a win for me, and um, you can't lose. Just, just beautifully done. There's just some designs there on the armor, on his armor. If anybody knows what the 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 markings on this armor mean, we would love to hear it. You can see he's factory sealed there. This, hey, I can't say enough about the head sculpt. Just a beautiful job that they did on this head sculpt. Uh, Playmates should be commended uh, for taking over the Star Trek licensing rights um, back in the 90s, um, mid 80s, 1990s, and doing a phenomenal job. Um, they gave us a lot of these characters uh, that we fell in love with from our the TV shows and turned them into fantastic action figures. And this is no exception here. Uh, this Gull Ducat figure is fantastic. And he was one of my favorite characters on the show. Everybody hated him. 
he played his this you know he played his part beautifully a, a true antagonist let's turn this figure around let, let you see the back of our gold duke cut figure there's the back of the box um still factory still factory sealed as you can see and there's a bone out shot here Beautiful. He's hostile. Here's uh, his equipment list. Cardassian pistol. Cardassian field control unit. Cardassian action base. Cardassian rifle. And Cardassian pad. Handheld information and control unit. Okay. Here's some more figures that you can get. I believe we we did videos on these two figures. Uh, we're we're just buying these guys as fast as we can get them, and we have to, you know, like I said, because I'm a museum. Basically, let's turn this guy around real quick. Because I'm a. Uh, I'm a, a museum. I want to uh, make sure that I'm purchasing these guys in fantastic condition. Um, we, we want to get these guys in C9, C8, C9, C10 if possible condition. So just because the, the, the place we get them from has a ton of them doesn't necessarily mean that they're all in great condition, so I have to kind of be choosy and pick and choose the ones I want. And I've been fortunate thus far uh, in finding these guys in great shape, uh, because that's what our our, our um, museum is all about: the preservation of these, the historical value of these toy lines and these action figures uh, as they appeared on a toy store shelves decades ago and that's what we we're all about so guys thanks for hanging out with us you know the routine god bless and keep collecting